Welcome back to the Everything Podcast. So it's been a couple of days since I recorded the first half of what's going to be this episode, which was uh, Season 1 Episode 6, Dalek, Season 1 Episode 7, The Long Game, and Season 1 Episode 8, Father's Day. And since then, the release schedules changed slightly uh, once I realised how long these episodes would be. Yeah, uh, earlier on I called it uh, Season 2, Episode 41, Part 2. Yes, that's right. Um, but that's not what's going to be. It's actually going to be Episode 42 of Season 2. So uh, the parts are going to be released separately as their own individual episodes because there might be bits of news and that'll be Part 2 of that episode, if that makes sense. Uh, which obviously means the reviews are going to be coming out for longer. So I think I've worked it out and I should be finished by October, which gives me plenty of time to go through all of the 60th anniversary news um, towards the end of October, maybe into November. So let's continue with my Doctor Who reviews of the modern series with Season 1's Episode 9, titled titled, The Empty Child, and Episode 10, titled The Doctor Dances. So in this story, this is the first appearance of Captain Jack Harkness, who is played by John Barrowman. A little child wearing a gas mask tries to get into a house where Nancy and the doctor are. Nancy locks the door, all the homeless children get out of the house using the back door and under the fence. The child puts his hand to the letterbox. The child makes the phone ring on the TARDIS and on one in the house, as well as the record player. The child has a mark on the back of his hand. The child explains he is scared of the bombs. Because, uh, as I mentioned, this story takes place during the London Blitz in 1941. The Doctor opens the door. The child has disappeared. Nancy tells the child, whose real name is Jamie, is the mother of him. Uh, Nancy repeatedly tells Jamie as she is his mummy. Uh, Nancy hugs Jamie. The nanogenes recognise that Jamie's mother is Nancy. Captain Jack st- stops the bomb from exploding. He's struggling to avoid it handwriting. Captain Jack says goodbye to her. The doctor uses nanogenes, brings everyone converted uh, back to life, all converted to gas masks like Jamie was. Uh, the TARDIS, uh, yes, the TARDIS crashes in London 1941, which, as I said, is the height of the London Blitz. Captain Jack saves Rose from falling to a death. Jamie feels alone until Nancy explains she is his mother instead of a sister, which is what she keeps telling Jamie. The doctor joins Nancy and the homeless children at the dinner table. The doctor sends the child to his room. The doctor and Rose get separated and remain separated during most of the story. Jack does a scan for alien tech. Rose volunteers to distract the guard. Rose explains she trusts Jack as he is like the doctor in some ways. Uh, the patients in comas are revealed to not be dead, as that's what Dr. Willis the audience believe. A doctor, the doctor, transforms to look like a child with a gas mask. Jack offers to sacrifice himself. The doctor also saves Jack and the doctor and Rose dance together. The typewriter types by himself. So that is for my review of the Ed's Child Doctor Dances. It is a few clips starting off with the first clip from the Ed's Child. Enjoy.
Here is a, another clip from Season 1, Episode 9 of Doctor Who, titled The Empty Child. Here is the first clip from the second part of the two part, uh, Season 1, Episode 10, The Doctor Dances. Here it is. Here is another clip from The Doctor Dances. That's it uh, for the clips uh, from The Empty Child and The Doctor Dances. That's actually it for Season 2, Episode 42 of the Everything Podcast. So in tomorrow's episode, I will be covering... Season 1, Episode 11, titled Boomtown. Season 1, Episode 12, titled Bad Wolf. And the 11th Doctor's final episode, Season 1, Episode 13, The Parting of the Ways. So yeah, that's it. And uh, you can also like, comment and subscribe. And you can also get in touch by emailing everythingpodcast2022 at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.